All right, so listeners sent in this promo material for a new horror anthology. And honestly, it's got my curiosity peaked for spooky season, Halloween Week by George M. Adame. Oh, an anthology. Yeah. Interesting. What do you what do you make of that right off the bat? Anthology format, horror, Halloween. Well, you know, I think with an anthology, you're often going to get a okay. real mixed bag, right? So maybe a dame is going for appealing to a bunch of different kinds of horror fans. So not just one story, but like a whole bunch of different flavors of spooky. Exactly. Hey, I can vibe with that. And it looks like they've they've kind of broken it down in this material a bit, like Shadows in the Deep, classic ghost stories. But they also say twists on tradition. Yeah. You know, you see ghost story, you think haunted house, you think, you know, things that go bump in the night. But twists on tradition, that that makes me think a dame's going to try to subvert some of those expectations. Okay, so maybe play with the formula a little bit. Yeah, like what if the ghost is the one telling the scary stories? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, that. Okay, all right. So not your run-of-the-mill ghost stories. Now this next one, Haunted Dolls and Sinister Whispers. I'm not going to lie. This one gets me. Dolls are just creepy. Oh, I'm right there with you. I think there's a reason why you see haunted dolls in so much horror. Oh, yeah. Chucky, Annabelle, you know, the list goes on. I think it's that idea of something that's supposed to be innocent, right? Like a child's toy. Right, right. But then it's it's given this malevolence. It's got a life of its own. Yeah, and it's it's tapping into some primal fear, you know? Yeah. If your son is a little creeped out by dolls, maybe skip that section. Or, you know, read it with all the lights on. But then we jump to something totally different. A ghost with a taste for coffee. All right, tonal shift. Yeah, you a little bit. Like, where are we going with this? Yeah, are we are we going full on like Shaun of the Dead here? Like <laughs> a little humor with the horror? It could be. It could be. I mean, yeah. that can be really effective though. That little bit of levity can make the scary parts hit even harder. Oh, for sure, for sure. Playing with those expectations, right? Exactly. Keep them guessing. Okay, so we've got ghosts, we've got dolls, and then they hit us with this: face your darkest fears. Ooh, vague. So vague. What do you even what do you even do with that? Well, maybe that's the point. Maybe it's not about a specific fear, but like what scares you the most? You know, what keeps you up at night? Oh, so it's like they're trying to get in your head a little bit. Exactly. It's like a deem saying, I'm not just gonna tell you a scary story, I'm gonna make you a part of it. That is kind of creepy. So based on what we're seeing here, it seems like this Halloween week. It might be less about like jump scares, gore, that kind of stuff. Maybe. And more about atmosphere, like psychological chills. Yeah, I'm getting that sense. Although with only the promotional material, it's hard to say for sure. True, true. They're being very deliberate with what they're showing us or not showing us, I guess. Right. And you know, that emphasis on darkness, the unknown, it makes me wonder. That's that. Could there be a bigger picture here? Bigger picture how? Well, we've got these seemingly separate stories, right? But what if they're all connected somehow? A larger mythology. Ooh, that'd be a twist. Like a common thread through all of them. Exactly. All right, so, listeners, as we head into spooky season, that's something to think about. Halloween week by George Emma Dunn. Will you be picking it up? Will you be brave enough to face your darkest fears? Let us know.